Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Um, if any of you are out there and you own a Coleman Hot Water On Demand, uh, that's the neatest little machine ever. I've talked about it in some of the other videos, I just love it. But there is a couple of maintenance issues that come up, well one that comes up for me. Um, this time it was once a year, the first time I got about two years out of it before I had to fix it. But if you've got one of these and you did a Google search on how to fix your Coleman Hot Water On Demand, this is how you do it. Okay, so basically this is what your unit looks like when it's sitting on the side that you can open the spigot out to, like this here. Um, we're going to have to take that front cover off. Now I've already got it loose. You've got a screw up here you've got to take out, a screw down here, one down lower, and one down lower right here. You take those four off. Also, along with that, you've probably got your water right here hooked up, which plugs in down here along with the electric unit, the battery run thing that runs the power to it. Just unplug those, they just come right out. Okay, once you've got that unplugged, this will not come out at that time, but to show you what you have to do, I'm gonna pull this off. Before you can pull that off, this is up inside of here like so. That's right where your gas unit goes in right here. You can see this hole right here. There's these little screws like this. There'll be four of them. One, two, three, four. You'll pull them out of both sides. You're going to need a small screwdriver like this. For once, there's a use for one of these little things. <laughs> After that, you're going to be pulling on it, and you still won't be able to get it out. There's one little screw right here that attaches this side to that side, and it's a little tiny one that looks like this, and it has a little nut on the inside. Pull that out. Everything will come apart real easy, just like so. Okay, what happens with these units is, I don't know if it's when they sit and they don't get used or whatever, but you'll have, this is your box where the heater is and stuff, and right here, this is called the water flow sensor. And what it is, is when you get this, when you look inside of there and open it up, it looks like a little impeller on a boat. Exactly the same. Water flows in here, spins the impeller, and shoots up, going up to here. If that doesn't spin right, it, it's telling it that there's no water going through here, so it shuts off the heat. If you are going on there to turn it, you turn it on, the water starts flowing, you hear the fire start, and it goes for maybe a half a second to a second, and it shuts off. And it does it every time. You change the gas, does the same thing. You get in here, you're going to need a wrench. Loosen up this side, it's real easy. Loosen up this side, it's real easy. And then this is loose, and you'll be able to see the impeller inside of there. I just had this apart and fixed it, and I'm not going to pull it off. It's pretty simple to see like this. Anyway, I had this up at the tent, and since I had to do this before, I thought, no big deal. Took it apart. I blew in there with my mouth just blowing. You can hear it go zipping around. Put it back together. It didn't work. It's like, no, something else is wrong with it. So I drug it home here. I just took it apart again right now, and this time I took the air compressor with a blower like this here, and I blew through there, and it was really going. And then I blew up inside here just to get it cleaned out since it was open. I put it back together, now the thing works great. So I know if you're like me, you've went on and you've searched for Coleman hot water, on-demand heater, will not heat, start, shuts off, whatever it is, that's a, it's a simple fix. You don't even have to bother taking, you'll see these wires going in, you can take, there's four screws on here where you can take that top off, don't even bother. If you take that top off, you still can't see the impeller. All that's doing is telling it that there's water so you can leave that on. All you've got to do is blow air through there and a lot of it, so it really frees it up and it'll work like a charm. When you're putting it back together, you've got your three lights. These things don't clip in, they just sit there. So save yourself some frustration and make sure they're in the spot before we take and put this back together. You can see Once you got that all put back together, put your gas cylinder back in. Then you can go ahead and plug your water back in. And your electrical unit. After that, grab yourself a pail, turn it on and give her a try. Starts burning, kept burning. 
instant hot water. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.